Hello, YouTubians. Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida, in the Wolf Den. And something I haven't done in a long time is what we refer to on this channel as a wolf tail. The only reason I'm doing it this way instead of doing a YouTube short, which YouTube shorts get three to five times the views that normal videos get anymore. So if you noticed, I'm not really doing that many regular videos because they're either being suppressed, nobody gives them a like, and then YouTube doesn't give a crap and they go, they flush you down the toilet. It's the same old people that watch basically a regular video. So I've been doing the YouTube shorts on my fancy new phone that I got. It's been kind of working out because I can just spontaneously do them. But I am going to do a wolf tale here of about the Mayport boat ramp and probably the dumbest person I ever met at the Mayport boat ramp. It's not about a boat falling off the trailer or anything like that. I don't have footage of anything going on like you see on YouTube because where I put in and out, pretty much everybody, I guess you can say, has their stuff together. I don't know about all them South Florida boat ramps. I could give you my personal opinion, but it's just not very politically correct. My boat ramp, where I go in and out, is probably one of the toughest in the county because we got so much current. And so you'd think you'd see a bunch of crap, but you don't see that much crap going on down there. It's absolute stupidity. But I'm in my boat one day, and I can't remember if it was in the morning or the afternoon or something. And I'm tied off to the dock. And here's some dude comes moseying on down to the dock, you know, and he wants to talk to you. And he's standing there. And he comes walking down and he's like, looking at my boat, you know. I got a 26-foot aluminum boat. Heavy-duty welded aluminum boat. I'll put a picture in right here. So it doesn't look like all the plastic reinforced you know, boats with a eggshell on the outside, also known as fiberglass. So it doesn't look like any of those. It's just bare aluminum, beat up aluminum, gray aluminum. He walks up and says, man, this is the biggest aluminum boat I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, huh? And he says, yeah, man, how big is this thing? And I said, 26 feet. Well, this is, this is the biggest aluminum boat I've ever seen. And I said, uh, so you from around here? He goes, oh yeah, I've been putting my boat in and out of this boat ramp for 20 years. Really? So you've never seen me before. And at that time, I probably had my boat for at least 12, 14 years. Okay, it was about 12 or 14 years old. And I said to him, so you never seen me down here before? No, I've never seen you before. Oh, well. And he's looking around and everything. He said, man, that is the biggest aluminum boat. That thing's huge. And I turn and I look behind me and I point and I said, you mean you never seen the pilot boats? And the pilot boats are giant aluminum. I mean, they're big. They're super beefy to go out in any sea to go and drop a pilot off on a ship or pick a pilot up. I'm not sure. I mean, they, they go back and forth. Big inboards, high sides, flat decking in the back, huge bows. Of course, they're painted orange, and they say pilot in black letters down the side. They're painted orange. And I said to the guy, so you, you, you've never seen the pilot boats? And he says to me, they're not aluminum, they're orange. And I'm like, okay, I have just met the dumbest person I have ever met at the Mayport boat ramp. And I said to him, do you know orange is not a boat building material? And he kind of looked at me like, huh? This guy must have thought because they're orange, they weren't aluminum, but they're orange. Let me tell you about my second funniest story. I call it, it's always at the boat ramp. I'm pulling up and I'm dropping off some customers or something. 
And here comes some punk ass dude in some little Boston whaler. And he comes pulling up to me or by me. And he's floating. He drops somebody off at the dock or whatever. And he's floating there right next to me. And he looks over and says, Hey, what'd you do? Move, you move here from like Alaska or something? And I said, no. He says, I seen boats like that in Alaska. Which they're always wrong. Because most of boats like mine in Alaska will have cabins and heaters inside and things like that. Which mine has none. Mine's a center console. Open. And since he's sitting in that little Boston whaler, I turned to him and I said, So what are you, from Boston? And then he looks up at me and goes, Huh? <laughs> these, do these people ever think before they spew out of their mouth. I gave it right back to them. And the people that were on my boat heard the whole thing. The whole thing. And they started laughing. <laughs> because obviously they saw the intelligence of that guy in that little Boston whaler. That's the whole idea here. Is I end up having to do mostly shorts. If you've noticed, YouTube shorts. Because YouTube shorts get three to five times the views that a normal video like this that I used to do. I used to do a video like this on the boat, off the boat, in the wolf den here, one way or another, sometimes as many as twice a week. When there's my favorite season going on, which is pretty much late October through April, there's a ton of fishing. Now it's the same old thing. It's summer. I can't stand summer. Ah, uh, that's the reason I'm not doing anything but shorts. Shorts is where it's at. I got a new phone. The views for the attention span challenged is the reason shorts on YouTube exist. Because they are trying to compete with TikTok. But YouTube is turning a real corner here with this whole doing shorts and you're getting so many more views. And I've watched my revenue go up. I've actually watched my revenue rise. A YouTube short is 60 seconds. So I couldn't tell my stories here in just 60 seconds, but there's two boat ramp stories all because of my boat. Go figure.